One of the easiest way to invest is with an app called Acorns, where it basically lets you invest your change and it lets you invest for retirement very, very simply without you thinking about it all the time. And you could also earn while you shop using this app too. So if you're looking to invest your money, this is one of the best ways to do it because it makes it really, really easy. So in this video, I wanna walk you through exactly how to do it. Now, originally I made a video two years ago on this exact app when I first set it up. So I'll link that below if you need some more guidance on the setup process. This is gonna be how to use a process in the things inside of the app. The setup process is pretty straightforward as far as the information it needs to get started. And I do have a referral link in the description below that will basically give you $5 once you go through the whole sign up process. So if you don't have Acorns yet and you want the referral code, make sure you sign on with that. And then you could always share your referral code with other people too once you log in. So let's go through the setup process. This is the homepage. This is basically a one pager app. Almost everything you need is right here. The first thing I recommend you do once you set up your account is press this option, invest in your future. And then it will bring you to this page and your value here will be zero. Again, I've been using that for a couple of years to invest my spare change here. And a couple of things you could do. The first one is roundups. That's where it rounds up all your transactions to the nearest dollar and invests the change. Next time is one time recurring. So you could decide maybe $25 on the first of each month is getting invested, which is something I'm doing. I'll show you that. Then you could obviously withdraw your money too when you want to take it out. So let's start with this one, roundups. And you could see even when I'm paying my electric bill here, it rounded up to the nearest dollar. So that was 38 cents invested. So these are all my different bills. And if I go through these, I'm just blurring these out. Some of these are personal, but basically it's rounding up everything, every transaction I make with a card that is linked. And you could click the settings option here because you do have some options here as far as how it works. So you could set it to be automatic. You could add a multiplier. So it would just maybe double or triple the roundup. So if you wanna save even faster, this is one way to do it. And down here, I unlinked my account because I wanna show you how to link a card. You could click this option here. And here you could go ahead and link a checking account. You could link a debit card, for example. And if you don't have anything, just press link an account down here. And it's gonna give you access where you could search for your bank here or a number of other ways to use any of these options. So if you have, for example, Bank of America, you could click here and then it will ask you to log into your Bank of America with the secure and private option and it will then ask you your username and your password of your bank. So that's how you link an account from this page. Then once that's set, make sure you allow transfers to appear here and you could link multiple accounts, it just doesn't have to be one account. Once you're happy and you have everything set up here, go ahead and press save down here. And that's how Roundup works. And it's gonna show you your Roundup settings right here in the middle of the page. I'll talk to you about portfolio in a second, but right now, Let's also look at the one-time payment. Now with the one-time, it's a one-time investment that will process in one to three business days. So you could choose an amount that you want to invest, so $25 for example, and then you could just press invest on the bottom of the page when you choose that amount. And that's a one-time investment, and I just set up that $25. Another option you have is this recurring option, let me go here to the recurring option. I really like this because this is one way I don't have to think about it. So if you have the change where it does the roundup change plus this, plus the multiplier on the roundup change, you're gonna save a lot faster. So you would set your amount here, any number you wanna put in here, minimum is $5. And then on here, it says first of each month, but you could basically make this daily even if you want to. So every day, maybe you wanna do five bucks instead of spending that $5 somewhere else or weekly. I like the first of the month here as an option. So far, I recommend you turn on roundups, add at least one debit card to that or a checking account. If you wanna do a one-time payment to have some initial value here, you could do that and it'll transfer that in one to two business days and the recurring option you could set up here. So every month or every week, whatever you choose is set up. So those are the basics of getting started with this app right here. And then you could decide the type of investments you make. So let me kind of explain this to you. 
And the one thing that's really great about that is if you have no idea about investing in the stock market or in bonds or in index funds, this is gonna walk you through some of those settings in a very clear way. So let me show you a few of those. Now mine is set to moderately aggressive. I'll click this option right here. And basically there is a few different ways you could invest with this. So let me scroll down just to show you the different. This is based on your risk tolerance. So let me go up here and press the first option. So the conservative is the lowest risk, right? Because if you go all the way to the other side and choose this one, the aggressive, you're risking a lot more because you're mostly investing in US stock market and the large company stocks here. Now with company stocks like that, there are times in maybe a course of a decade where one or two times the stock market can crash over 50% and you will lose a significant portion of your saving. But in the long run, typically, the stock market does return 8 to 10% per year on average. So just to show you the different ones you have, under the conservative, you could see how they're going to allocate all your investments. So your recurring investment, your spare change investment, this is going to go 20% into basically bonds, right? This is basically the most conservative you could get with your portfolio here. Your portfolio is basically this, your collection of investments. Then I'll go to the second one here, moderately conservative. So this one is going to have a little bit of stock, but it's still very heavy on the bonds. So over 50% between these two here, short-term U.S. bonds and U.S. aggregate bonds. So... You could see that here. Then let's go in the middle, the moderate. This one you have a lot more large company stocks. And then the rest you could see even international company stocks are included here. On moderately aggressive, you could see this mostly large company stocks. And if you get very aggressive, you got mostly large company stocks. Now, to figure out what exactly this 55% is, let me go back one page. And based on my selection here, you could see mine is set to 47 company stocks. Well, what are those exactly? I could click this arrow here and it's going to show me right here exactly what my holdings are. So Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan. Those are Tesla. Those are some of the stocks that are in my portfolio right now. And it's basically a bundle. It's kind of like an index, a bundle of all those stocks in one. And I could see my return here. So that portion has returned me 40% in the course of using this app in one year. And I could actually break it down by six months, for example, and see 15.59% in the course of six months. Now, that's a lot higher than usual, but the stock market, as I'm making this, has been a lot higher than previous years here. And it tells you up here, you're basically buying VOO, which is an ETF, and it gives you exposure to the 500 largest U.S. companies. So that gives you a good explanation. You could read about any of those based on whatever risk tolerance you choose. So I could even go to the small cap here and see what companies those holdings are. Now, you can't change these, okay? This is not by picking individual stocks. The app is taking care of it for you. All you can change is your risk tolerance. If you want to pick individual stocks and if you want to invest that way, you should use another app like Robinhood, for example, where you could choose exactly what you're buying. Here, you're basically letting the app take care of most of that for you. Now, since I made the original video a couple years ago, I do have some history with this app, so I could actually show you one of my favorite pages in the app. I'll go back to the home page of the app. And on this home page, once you set up your investing for the future, there's this little icon right here. Press this. And this is really great because it's going to show you just based on your current investment for me, which is not very much. I think I only invested like $35 last month. But it says hypothetically, I'll get to 75,000 by 77. But I could grab this right here and bring it back. So maybe I want to retire at 65. I could see I could get 34,000 by then. So obviously, this is not my only investment because this is not going to be enough to retire on and I will have to invest a lot more. And I usually invest with other platforms, but this is a good kind of a secondary option for just doing something that I'm not thinking about every day. In fact, I rarely open this app and the investment does keep going up over time. And another thing I really like, let me click right here. And on this page where we set up our investments, if I go down, it's going to show your history here over time. So let me expand this out to kind of explain to you what's going on. 
This is showing me my all time since a couple of years ago of getting this app. I gained $571 using this app. So I invested closer to $2,100 with my spare change I'm recurring and he added another 571 in a couple years. Now, this is unusually a high return. You shouldn't expect to get this kind of return, especially let me go to the one year tab here. Yeah, you could see 25% in just one year. That's very, very unusual. Typically the stock market, even with aggressive portfolio, is eight to 10% on average. So this is nice because you could basically click on six months, three months and see how you did. And this is your portfolio. But if you press the arrow here, you could see how the stock market actually did. So you could compare your return versus the stock market return. And mine is basically exactly the same, right? Because I pick a more aggressive that follows more the stock market and less bonds. And I could see a full account breakdown and see where all my money came from. So the stock market did unusually well here. So obviously most of the returns came from there but you could also see where they came from besides that like bonds or international stocks too. And on the previous page too, you could see that I also make money on dividend stocks. So some companies like Apple and AT&T just for holding them pay you sometimes quarterly, like four times a year or sometimes yearly, they pay you a dividend. Now that could be low, like Apple is closer to 1%. AT&T, when I was holding last I checked, was closer to 6 7%. And that's how much you earn by just holding those stocks. And just because of the bundle of stocks and the investments I have here, I also get that dividend stocks, which then gets redistributed back into my portfolio and gets invested again. So that's one way to really compound how much money you could make is by these dividend stocks. Again, not something I chose, it's just in my portfolio by default, but besides the one-time investment, besides the roundups, I also get these dividends over here too. And the last thing I'll show you that I really found useful is you could also earn money here by just using this app as a shopping app. So let's say I wanted to buy a new iPhone. So I'll just click on Apple here. It says, if you tap shop now here and complete the transaction in one session, you get 1.5% from that transaction invested into your investment account. So if I press shop now, for example, it's gonna just go ahead and open up Apple, the website. And let's say I wanted to buy something. So if I just press buy here and bought this item right here, I could get one and a half percent of that, which is kind of significant on more expensive items like this. But obviously Apple is not the only one. You could literally do this for Burger King and have maybe a company like Grubhub bring this to your house, for example, right? So a lot of different options, but this is kind of useful if you're going to buy from these companies anyway. It's nice to get sometimes four or 5% cash back just by using this app and then taking care of the transaction through here. And they do have other options that I haven't used myself, but you could go ahead and check out some of these on your own. For example, they could let you save for your kids here. And they do have a whole knowledge base if you're new to investing, like how much you should invest and how you could get investment advice. They're all over here. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor and I just review apps, but this does give you a good look into how these things work. And I should show you one last thing because this app is not completely free. It's, it feels like it's free because your investment kind of paid for the platform. But let me go to settings. If I press my profile icon and go to the settings option here, there's an option here. It says my subscription. Let me click on that. And by default, you are on the light tier, which is only a dollar a month. So I don't typically even notice that this is happening, but they do have other subscriptions. Let me press manage here. So the light option is what I have. So it lets me invest my spare change. It lets me earn bonuses from investments and get that financial tips here that I showed you. But you also have a personal option that gives you a little bit more here. Like it has a money management system here, all in one investments, retirement, checking accounts. So if you want that, you could upgrade here and they have a family plan as well here. That's $5 a month at the time I'm recording this, but you can cancel at any time you like on the bottom. But again, it's not very much, especially since this app has made me hundreds of dollars just in the last couple of years from my investments for investing very, very little each month. 
I'm gonna give this app a solid five out of five, especially if you're new to investing, this makes it so, so easy. Again, not financial advice, but I am a fan of this app and I think it could be beneficial to you, but give it a spin, see if you like it, you could cancel at any time. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow app review videos just like this one, and I hope to catch you next time.